Howdy. In this video, we will show how we confirmed that you can extend your car remote range by pressing the remote against your face or chin or jaw. What makes our video different than others is that we tested a number of variables, including maximum distance, aiming direction, and any effect that wind might have, and confirmed that it really does work. We found that for normal operation, holding the remote higher seemed to work more reliably, especially with this vehicle. We tested aiming in all directions, and clearly aiming directly at the car worked best, suggesting that the remote is directional. In the videos, keep an eye on the car. You should be able to see the headlights flash on to confirm when it works. So if we look at this data, first you might notice the raw data at the top, and the chart below represents this data. As for the chart, the data is in groupings of two for each test scenario, where the blue bar represents the distance from the car to the point when normal operation becomes unreliable, and the red bar represents the distance from the car to the point when the face press method becomes unreliable. The distances are in feet measured on the left side of the graph. The four groupings are labeled at the bottom and are in relation to the wind as follows. The first group of two bars is perpendicular to the wind. The second group is testing in the same direction as the wind is blowing. And the third group is testing against the wind. The fourth group is an average of the other three tests. The results clearly show an increased range of approximately 30% when using the face press method. Additionally, you can see that the wind has negligible effect on the operation of the remote for both methods. Try it. You can find exactly where it is. Back up two steps. Now this this is a distance that doesn't work reliably anymore. All right. Now, for the face plant method, holding it at an angle, like you see in the video, actually worked best. Oh, yeah. 